Right folks, as my um, pork pie frying uh, video went down so well, also my cheese and spring onion, also, what are you sniffing the camera for dog? Are you mad? Um, and also as the cheese and spring onion sandwich, sandwich filling, thank you June for the prompt, um, <laughs> went down also very well, um, I'm going to do another one. I said that I was got, I've got a couple in my mind that uh, I was going to do, that I used to do back in the day. So this one is, folks, it's going to be the egg and bacon, as you have seen from the title of this video and also of the magnificent thumbnail of the video. Um, so what it is, folks, is our boiled eggs. Hey, June. Our boiled egg. Our boiled egg. There we go. Our boiled eggs, folks. Now, a little tip for people who, when you boil an egg, um, sometimes the egg will break in the pan and, um, I, tell you, I like this t-shirt, but it's just too fucking shit around my neck, isn't it? Crap. For the visually impaired, the t-shirt I'm wearing around my neck is shit. Um, the idea is, folks, uh, to get the bit of the egg where there is the air sac in it, and if you just give it a slight tap and crack it, the shell will not then break uh, as it is being boiled and jumbled around. Um, that one has broke because I dropped it on the work surface because it was hot, because um, I'm an idiot. Uh, and then, folks, I have got some streaky bacon. Um, I got this uh, from the Asda. I didn't take June up the ass to that one, that was, um, I had a bit. Oh, Bill Lester to take the MacBook back because um, I wanted to do something on the iMovie, uh, movie maker, iMovie making thing. And um, apparently Apple have put some new software on and you have to get it updated. I didn't know. The girl that um, I went and seen in the uh, Apple shop. Thank you for the prompt, June. Um, she thought she'd done it, she didn't, and then she had to get some other bloke who was far superior, and um, he did it. So, then as I'm coming back, I went and uh, popped in the Asda to do this, uh, which was buy bacon. Um, so what I've done, folks, I've got a baking tray, uh, I've got some grease food paper. If you scrumple it all up, this is one of June's tricks. Scrumple it all up and then just put it on the uh, baking tray. Ain't that right, June? And then you just do that, you see, and then that saves your pans, doesn't it? Saves your pens. Now, um, so what you do, folks, is you just chop it up or cut it up, cut it up into bits. Um, I'm going to cut the rind off this because this was a. I normally get Morrison's. Um, I normally get Morrison's bacon, uh, or I get uh, it from the Costi Cutters in Salbert. Um, but as this was on the way home, and I thought, well, I'm not going in Costi Cutters just for a piece of bloody streaky bacon. Uh, cut this up, folks. I think we need some new scissors, June. Yeah, I think these are fucked. So what you do, folks, is you just uh, cut it up. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm probably better off cooking it and then cutting it. Letting it cool down a bit. <sighs> should have done this before I bloody started the video, shouldn't I? So, <sighs> because, I because I've already started this now and I can't. Uh... Oh, this is taking fucking ages. Oh, God. Right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, folks, because I want to. No, okay, I'm going to carry on. I don't edit, I don't do that kind of stuff, do I? Do I, June? I don't edit. Once I've started, if I'm screwing up, I carry on screwing up. So I just chuck it in, cut it into nice big chunks, because what will happen, uh, these big supermarkets do basically make uh, bacon, uh, and uh, they fill it full of water and stuff. And, don't they? Who does it then? Well, you know what I mean. The, the, yeah. 
All right, June's corrected me. The supermarkets don't do it. They don't get Bert standing there and shooting bloody, shooting his muck into it, you know, to make it heavier. Um, they just, uh, this, uh, whoever does it. Anyway, we all know they do it. You buy a 15 pound chicken and it ends up as about two pound and it's water all over the place. You know what I mean, don't you folks? You know what I mean. You know where I'm coming from. Uh, Lurkio, you can't have none because you're a dog. Get out of it. You bloody mad. You've just had your meat. You've just been fed. Right, folks. So you just uh, spread. This is boring one, isn't it, folks? Spread the bacon. You spread it, don't we, June? I think we need a bit more bacon. There's a dog down here. I wish I'd cut this now before I bloody... You should have started it off with the bacon already cooked. Yes, you're right June, you're dead right. So why don't you start No, because I'm not. Because I know I've fucked up, but it's all down to experience. <sighs> Give it to you. I've done it. It's alright, I've done just it. What? Here. You'd have been better off cooking yeah, it. Yeah, I know, I know, it. but this oh, is what I do. God. This is how I do it, isn't it? This is, I've, I've fucked up, I do apologise. Right, whack that in the oven. Hold on, you've got to show the camera. Chopped up bacon. Hold on, you missed. Oh. There you go, chopped up bacon. Right, I'm going to chop that in the oven at uh, 15 million degrees. What are you doing? Put it on the top oven so it browns quicker. Puts it on the top oven so it browns quicker. So what I'm going to do now, folks, I'm going to end this video here. I'm going to let that cook and then I will come back and show you how to mix it all up. I'm sure... There are people out there who's probably worked this out, but for some reason, some people like this. I'm going to turn with this hand because I've got bacon on it and I don't want bacon on my camera. Laters. Right, folks, back with part two of a two part sandwich filling um, review. Um, I have boiled the eggs, the eggs have been boiled, and to save you watching me unpeel them or peel them, do you unpeel them or peel them, June? Hey? Peel them. What's unpeel? She don't know. Uh, there's the bits of bacon that I have uh, baked in the oven. Um, it is called bacon and uh, you're supposed to bake it in my book. I still haven't got that book June. No, you're too busy fucking about girl. You want to get up there. Um, so what you do now folks uh, is that you get the eggs and you give them a good mash in. <laughs> mash or get a fork, just get a fork in it and um, cut them up, you know what I mean? Like, you can either go for fine or you can have big chunks, just mash it against the side of the bowl. There you go, for the visually impaired, I've turned the camera down and I'm now mashing the egg against the side of the bowl. Um, you know what I mean, like. The, uh, the doodle's here, he smells the eggs and uh, he's quite interested. Wait, drop the bloody camera now. That's just trying to show you lot the bloody dog, that's all. You know, just trying to... For fuck's sake. No, it's not a for fuck's sake. Right, so that's the egg uh, mashed in. Mashed up, even. Uh, you get your bits of bacon. You chuck them in. Right, you chuck them in, just chuck them in. Uh, you then get your mayo, uh, just get the Heinz mayo. Somebody's saying that the uh, you only use Hellman's. I agree in theory. There's some things that you can't mess about on. Uh, baked beans, mayonnaise, what you say June? Please. Peas, got to be bird's eyes. Um, well not bird's eyes, because that would be just horrible. But bird's eyes, peas, and um, that kind of stuff. Get yourself a bit of a spoonful of uh, mayonnaise. Don't put too much in at the beginning, um, because uh, it's easier to take 
It's easier to put in than take out. Ain't that due? Right. Yeah. So, give it a bit of a mix up. Squeeze fingers and licking my hands. Now, some, some would put salt and pepper in this. But I don't think we need salt or pepper because there's enough uh, flavouring from the bacon. I think to put anything else in would probably... Uh, anyway. Their bacon's going to be salty. Um, so, June, do you think this is the right amount of uh, mayonnaise in here, sweetness? It's an individual thing having mayonnaise in your thing. What do you think to that, sweetheart? Does that look that about right? That looks fine, yeah. That looks all right to you, folks. So, then what you do, you've got nice chunks of bacon, you've got nice chunks of uh, egg, uh, and then you just get a bit of a layer on. I've left that open because your dog's panting. Dog's hot. Go on, hot dog. <laughs> so, a nice uh, layer. Do it without... Uh, as you can see folks, now, uh, for the visually impaired, I'll put the camera down again. Um, a nice layer of uh, sandwich fillings. Make sure you get it into the corners. Don't do like uh, some of the shops do, and um, just get it at the front of the sandwich when they've cut it in half, so it looks like it's full, but it's not. It's, uh, it's not full at all. So there you go, get it all in there, you know. I mean, I don't know how much this has cost me. I don't know what's a loaf of bread. 125, so I've used two rounds of bread. Butter's always there. Mayonnaise, gone for the cheap mayonnaise. Uh, I went for the Asda streaky bacon. Streaky bacon's about £1.25. Uh, and eggs, how much are eggs, June? About a quid? No, you don't do the shopping, do you? Um, so that's about it, really, folks. Let's uh, get that bit of corner in there. Do you want to come and try a mouthful, June? Oh, please. Come and tell everybody how nice it is or isn't. I'm not asking you to eat the whole bloody bowl. Right. Oh, right then. I'm eating the sweets. Oh, right then. Fair enough. See? I'm on a diet. Right. So, cut it from corner to corner, like they do in the uh, packets, um that you get from the shops and the garages. For the visually impaired, I'm holding the sandwich up. How does that look, folks? Don't need all this fancy editing, dear. Right, so, let's talk in. Lovely. You really, well, I can't fault it. There's nice big chunks of bacon in there. It's not too wet, it's not too soggy. I've got enough there for another sandwich tomorrow. Mmm. Anything that you buy from the supermarkets, isn't it? The sandwiches oh, yeah. and stuff. Yeah. It's because I've got the bacon quite big. Right, I've eaten my sweet, I'll try a bit now. Try it and love her. I'd be a fucking bite. It's really good. <laughs> I've got to say, BVM, you do the best sandwiches. Your cooking's limited, but you do do the best sandwiches. Mm. Yeah, what I um, what I do. What are you lacking sexual prowess? You make up in sandwich making. <laughs> right. <laughs> Somebody's gonna get it tonight. What a sandwich? You'll get fucking sandwich against that mattress, <laughs> ain't you? A cheeky little bitch. I'm going to slap her ass later. <laughs> um, so there you have it, folks. My Junie. Burnt my finger up. 
I picked the bloody, took the bacon out, meant to put the tray back in, and picked it up with my bloody thumb. So it's just there you go, though. So there's the other half look. Nice big lumps of bacon. So, try it, folks. Let me know how you get on. I might do the corned beef and onion one next week. Um, just a quick shout out as well. Look out for uh, Jack Mate's Happy Hour podcast um, that will be out on Spotify and other ones. And he will also be on uh, YouTube. There'll be clips of it on YouTube, our podcast. Um, had a great time. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. He's a great lad, the, him and Doody. Doody uh, great lads. Made me feel really welcome. Hey? Eh? Thought she said something. Uh, and I just thoroughly enjoyed it. All right, folks. Let me know your comments on the bacon sandwich and if you want me to try and do anything else. Okay, laters.